In this previous program, we saw how to do nested if statements. And sometimes nested if statements is the best way. However, C++ also has Boolean operators that allow for us to combine different conditional operations in one statement. Therefore, we only have to write one if statement instead of multiple if statements, if that's what we need. Because here we're looking where i is greater than k, and we're looking for j greater than k, this is a perfect example where we can use a Boolean operator. Now, C++ gives us three Boolean operators. The first one we're going to look at here, which is the ampersand for and. And it's actually a double ampersand. And here we have and j greater than k just like I see in my inner if statement. I now no longer need my inner if statement. My else statement and its block no longer match up because I don't have my inner if statement. However, they logically fit with my now single if statement. So I'm going to simply cut and paste them in place. If I go and run this, and I see in my output, both i and j are greater than k because i and j are both numerically larger than k, just like I expected. With C++, my AND operator, the double ampersand, provides what they call a shortcut operation. Since both values have to be true, if at any time it finds an incorrect value, and I can have multiple AND operations together, if at any point any one of those is, is false, the whole thing becomes false and it stops checking. So if I can, I want to put the one that's most likely to be false first. That way I don't spend a lot of times doing my operational checks. Now, in comparison, I can also use an OR operator, which means one or the other of my conditions is true. To do that, I'll use the double pipe. The pipe is a vertical line and is usually found above our enter key. We need to change our output statement because this is incorrect based upon the OR operator. The OR operator is also a shortcut operator in C++, so as soon as it finds a true value, it will no longer keep searching and testing all my other conditions. So if I'm using multiple OR operators, I will want to have my one that's most likely to be true first. That way I no longer have to keep on testing. I have now put either i or j is greater than k. This way, if i is greater than k or j is greater than k, or they both are, this will be true and this message will run. Now I mentioned that there was a third Boolean operator that C++ has. This is known as a not operator. The not operator tells us to use the opposite of whatever value is there. Let's take a look at this with a new variable. Here we're going to use the bool data type. The bool data type stores a Boolean value of either true or false. And we're going to just have a Boolean type for matched. And we're going to specify that is equal to false. Notice that this is going to run just fine. Now, if I'm going to put here inside my if statement, I'm going to set matched. In my if statement, as part of my condition, I'm going to look for a Boolean value. I have a Boolean variable, so therefore, I can use this. If I want to use a not operator, all I have to do is put an exclamation point, sometimes referred to as a bang, in front of my variable or my condition if I have a condition where I'm testing. And now the opposite is going to be true. Update our C out. And when we run the application, we get the true message, just as we would expect. So that's how we use Boolean operators to perform AND, OR, and NOT operations inside of a condition.